once again welcome back to the math revision made meticulous today topic probability distribution in probability topic revision as the name suggest means looking back over previously learned information ensuring that it is clear and fresh in the mind five questions per day from selected topic is presented at this video series the steps in answers are supported by the ideas used for getting the answer probability distribution let a random variable x takes values x1 x2 and so on to xn with the respective probabilities p1 p2 p3 and so on to pn then the tabular description giving the values of the random variable along with the corresponding probabilities is called its probability distribution for example you are tossing a coin you are dealing about number of heads if two one coin is tossed we may get zero head and one head if two coins are tossed we may get zero head one head and two head if three coins are tossed we will get zero one two three and so on similarly when you are having uh, two balls are drawn and if you are talking about the number of red balls it may be zero one and two like that therefore the random variable will take values x1 x2 and so on to xn and its probabilities are p1 p2 and so on to pn then we are going to put it we are going to evaluate it we are going to put it in the form of a tabular form this tabular form will be x is the random variable p of x is its probability respective probability and all of you know that the sum of these all because we are going to take all exhaustive events therefore sum of the probabilities will be equal to 1 well now how to do it identify the random variable for example if it is a number of red balls then identify that x is the number of red ball the number of king card then uh, number of uh, sixes number of heads number of tiles and so on then identify the possible values taken by the random variable it may start from zero it may go to one two three and so on and evaluate the respective probabilities individually you express the values and probabilities in a tabular form for example if you want to express the probability distribution of number of heads in throw of a coin you know that x is the number of heads we can have zero head or one head only zero head mean tile therefore probability of x is equal to zero is one by two probability of x is equal to one that is one head is also one by two put it in the tabular form it is called probability distribution it tells you that how the total probability one is distributed among all these random variable that is why it is called probability Let us move on to question number one. An unbiased die is thrown twice. Find the probability distribution of number of sixes which are appearing in the dice. Let x denote the number of sixes in the throw of a die twice. Then it can take value 0, 1 and 2. What do you mean by 0, 1 and 2? 0, 6. Both of them are non 6. 1, 6 and 1, non 6 and both of them are sixes. Let a1 is the event of getting the number 6 in the first throw and A2 event of getting the number 6 in the second throw. Similarly, B1 not getting the number 6 in the first throw, not getting the number 6 in the second throw is B2. I am fixing those events so that whenever I am going for probability of x is equal to 0, I can make use of this A1, A2, B1, B2. What is probability of A1 and A2? Getting a 6 is 1 by 6. All of you know. And... Uh, getting a non 6 is remaining 5 numbers can come therefore probability of b1 is equal to probability of b2 is equal to 5 upon 6 we are ready with the events and probabilities of a1 a2 and b1 b2 well let us go for p of x is equal to 0 p not getting 6 in both the throws what do you mean by that not getting 6 in both the throw means not getting in the first throw and not getting in the second throw probability of b1 and b2 whenever and comes it is intersection b1 intersection b2 but already we have seen about independent events b1 and b2 are independent that it is probability of b1 into probability of b2 we are already having those numbers with us 5 by 6 into 5 by 6 25 upon 36 our probability of x is equal to 0 is 25 upon 36 Let us move on to probability of x is equal to 1. That is getting 1, 6 in 2 throws. What do you mean by that? Getting 6 in the first, not in the second. Or not in the first and in the second. Therefore, a1 and b2. That is getting 6 in the first throw and not in the second throw. Or 
not in the first throw and in the second throw. The word we have used to b1 of a1 and b2, b1 and a2. Okay, all of you know that whenever and comes, what you have to do? You have to use intersection. a1 intersection b2, r come means union, b1 intersection a2. These two are mutually exclusive, therefore plus is coming. They are independent even, therefore multiplication coming. Using addition theorem and theorem of independent events. Now I am putting substituting the values. I am getting 10 upon 36. Very simple. 5 by 36 plus 5 by 36. Let us move on to P of X is equal to 2. Getting 6 in both the throws. That is in the first and the second. Therefore A1 and A2. A1 also getting 6 in the first throw. A2 getting 6 in the second throw. For and means intersection. Both are independent events. Or multiply them. Therefore it is 1 upon 36. Well, let us now recollect what are the values now. 25 upon 36 is x is equal to 0. 10 upon 36 is x is equal to 1. 1 upon 36 is x is equal to 2. Put it in the form of a table. We are now representing the probability distribution of x. The random variable x. Now remember when you add all of them. 25 by 36 plus 10 by 36 plus 1 by 36. You should get 36 by 36. The answer is 1. You are right. Let us go to question number 2. Three cards are drawn. Find the probability that uh, distribution of number of aces. Now three cards are drawn. Therefore x denote number of aces. And it can take value 0, 1, 1, 2 and 3. What do you mean by 0, 1, and 1 2 and 3? 0 is, 1 is, 2 is and 3 is. Our x is equal to 0. We are getting three other non ace card. Therefore there are 48 non ace cards are there. 48 C3 by 52 C3. Therefore, the final answer is 4324 by 5525. Better multiply and keep it ready so that we can put it in the form of a table. Now, let us continue. X is equal to 1. Getting 1 yes and 2 non yes. Yes means 4C1. 2 non yes means 48C2. I am applying the formula. 48C2 is 48 into 47 by 2 into 1. 52C3 is 52 into 51 into 50 by 3 into 2 into 1. Uh, final answer is 1125 by 5525. Good. What is the meaning of x is equal to 2? Getting 2 a's and 1 non a's. There are 4 a's cards, therefore 4 c2. There are 48 non a's cards, therefore 48 c1 by 52 c3. I am applying the combination formula 4 into 3 by 2 into 1 into 48. 52 into 51 into 50 by 3 into 2 into 1. After simplification, the answer is 72 upon 5525. One more left out. P of x is equal to 3 getting 3 A's card. There are 4 A's cards are there. For 4 C3 by 52 C3. Well, the answer is 1 upon 5525. Now the cancellations here you have to remember. 4 will get, get cancelled with 52. 3 will get cancelled with 51 always. Well good. For we, I have x is equal to 0. x is equal to 1. x is equal to 2. x is equal to 3. Answers are with me. I am putting it in the form of a table. To represent the probability distribution of the random variable. When you add the numerators, you will get 5525, five, which is in the denominator. Good. Let us go to question number 3. An urn contains 4 white and 3 red ball. Find the probability distribution of number of red balls. Already we have discussed it. In a random draw of 3 balls. Therefore, 3 balls are drawn. Therefore, you should have the number of red balls. Let x denote the number of red ball. Add 3 balls are drawn, it will be 0, 1, 2, 3. If 2 balls are drawn, it will be 0, 1, 2. If 2 balls are drawn, it will be 0, 1, and 2. It will be very simple. All of you know it. Okay, well. Now, if x is equal to 0, is probability of getting 3 non-red, which means that white. Therefore, there are 4 white balls. Therefore, 4c3 by 7c3. Therefore, the answer is 4 upon 35. Let the moment x is equal to 1, getting 1 red and 2 white. There are 3 red balls. Therefore, 3c1. There are 4 white balls. Therefore, 4c2 by 7c3. 3 into 4 into 3 by 2 into 1 by 7c3 is 7 into 6 into 5 by 3 into 2 into 1. Therefore, the final answer is 18 upon 35. When you move on to x is equal to 2, 2 red and 1 white. There are 3 red balls, therefore 3c2. What is only white ball, therefore multiplied by 4c1 in the numerator, possible cases. Total cases 7c3. When you apply the combination formula, the answer is 12 upon 35. P of x is equal to 3 is getting all the red balls. Therefore, 3c3 by 7c3. For when you apply the formula, it is 1 upon 35. For now, we got all the answers now. x is equal to 0, x is equal to 1, x is equal to 2, and x is equal to 3. Put it in the form of a table, which gives the probability distribution of the random variable. Remember, when you add the numerators, you should get 35 because 
sum of all the probability is 1. You check it after you have calculated all of them. It is better check. Problem number 4. Two cards are drawn with replacement. I want to underline the word with replacement from a pack of 52 cards. Find the probability distribution of number of kings. We already discussed about this word with replacement. We will get independent events. Let us check. Let x denote the number of kings. Then uh, you are having only two cards are drawn. Therefore, you can have only zero king, one king and two king. A1 is the event of getting king card in the first draw. A2 is the event of getting king card in the second draw. B1 not getting king card in the first draw. B2 not getting king card in the second draw. But we have to have the combination of these events to get 0, 1 and 2. Therefore, probability of A1, A2 is there are 4 king cards are there, were 4 upon 52. Probability of B1 and probability of B2 are not king card. Therefore, 48 are there, therefore 48 upon 52. I am keeping it as it is. Let us move on to getting the x is equal to 0. Not getting kings in both the draws. Therefore, B1 and B2. B1 intersection B2. Both are independent events. Multiply them. 48 by 52 into 48 by 52. When you simplify with uh, 14, it will become 144 by 169. <coughs> Good. Let us move on to the next one. That is probability of x is equal to 1, getting 1 king in uh, both the draws. That is put together. Over it, what will happen? It will be king in the first, non-king in the second, or non-king in the first and king in the second. Therefore, both and is their intersection, R means union. They are mutually exclusive, therefore plus is coming, they are independent, therefore multiplication is coming using addition theorem and independent even idea. But I am applying the values there, 4 by 52 into 48 by 52 plus 48 by 52 into 4 by 52. Simplify by cancelling that 4 and 52 and 48 and 52 and so on. You will get 24 by 169. Let us move on to the next one, x is equal to 2, getting kings in both the draws. Therefore, A1 and A2, king in the first and king in the second. And is coming intersection, independent even, therefore multiplication. 4 by 52 into 4 by 52, it is 1 upon 13 into 13, which is 1 upon 169. We are ready with the answers now. X is equal to 0, X is equal to 1 and X is equal to 2. Put it in the form of a table, which gives you the probability distribution of X. Remember, when you add the numerators, you are getting 169. Therefore, the sum of the probability is equal to 1. Therefore, my answer is right. Let us go to question number 5. From a lot of 10 bulbs, which include 3 defective, a sample of 2 are drawn, find the probability that number of defective bulb. How many defective bulb may be there when you take 2? Let us call it as X. It can take value 0, 1, 2, 0 defective, both are non-defective, 1 defective and 2 defective. Out of 10 bulbs, 7 are non-defective, but we have to get the probability from it. 7 non-defective and 3 defective. Let us go to P of X is equal to 0 getting no defective bulbs, but we have to select 2 bulbs from the 7, therefore 7C2 by total 10C2, therefore the final answer is 7 upon 15. By making use of this idea that 7 non-defective and 3 defective, let us move on to x is equal to 1, that is getting 1 and defective and 1 non-defective, what will happen? You will get 1 defective mean 3C1 multiplied by 1 non-defective is 7C1, Therefore, the final answer is 7 upon 15 once again. Let us go for x is equal to 2, getting both the defective. Therefore, defective is 3. Therefore, 3c2 three by 10c2. Therefore, you are getting the answer as 1 by 15. We got all the answers now. x is equal to 0 for x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 2. I am representing it in the form of a table, which gives me the probability distribution. Check once again. Denominator is 15. When you add the numerators, you are all getting 15. Therefore, my answer is right. Success is dependent on effort. All the best. Thank you.